As you can see, I cannot create more images using ChatGPT. I either have to wait or maybe I have to subscribe to the ChatGPT Plus subscription. But these are not my only options because there are other avenues that I could try to still create images just like in ChatGPT, but I don't have to pay for anything. Now, in case you didn't know, ChatGPT uses GPT-40 image generation, which right now is actually being renamed to GPT Image 1. So this model is actually available not only in ChatGPT, but also other platforms. And again, it is the same image model in ChatGPT, so technically you could use it to create or even editing a picture just as in ChatGPT. And I'm not talking about Adobe Firefly because even though this still do offer GPT image, it is still within the paid plan so you have to pay in order to access this new model so in this video i will show you some other alternatives to create images using the same technology and capabilities in chat but for free so uh, the first tool that i recommend is called recraft you can navigate to recraft.ai and then you can sign in using your email or you can sign up using the link in the video description so here click create new project and then later i'll show you how you can use the gpt image one model in recraft ai now just wait until the editor is open and then click image and here click the model name and then you want to navigate to all models and select external and you, as you can see there are some gpt models there's gpt for all low medium and then high now unfortunately the medium and high versions are only accessible if you're paying for the subscription but don't worry you can still use the low for free it's only costing one credit which uh, basically almost nothing because you will you will get extra credits every day so you can create lots of images every single day now click apply and you'll see this uh, frame that lets you create a picture and you can select the area size you can make it horizontal vertical it's up to you i'm going to be i'm going to be using three by two and you can enter the prompt i'm going to use this simple prompt generate an amateur selfie of a brunette woman holding a piece of paper with a handwritten text chat gpt no limit and click recraft <clears throat> So the benefit of using this method is that, again, you get lots of credits every single day and for every generation, it created two pictures. So you can choose which picture do you think look the best. And also you can download these images for free without having to pay and there is no watermark. That's crazy because that's not the kind of thing that you can do in a lot of AI tools, but in this tool, it is free and no uh, watermark whatsoever now maybe the downside is that you, we can only access the low version which is not particularly good and the editing capability is not available on recraft ai but at least for image generation using gpt 4 it is within the realm of possibility if you want to download you can right click and then export as png or jpeg so uh, this is recraft ai that's how you can use it but there is another one so the next tool that you can use to generate an image using GPT Image 1 or GPT-40 image generation is WhatsApp. Well, technically not WhatsApp, it is Perplexity. So Perplexity actually just released the WhatsApp version. You can send a message to Perplexity on WhatsApp and you can ask it to generate a picture or even edit, editing a picture using a simple prompt. And again, it is only possible using the GPT Image 1 model. So in order to do that, you have to go to WhatsApp, uh, sorry, the web version. Uh, basically, you have to write this address, wa and then dot me slash this number. So this is a number that will trigger WhatsApp. You can hit enter and then you can, you know, open WhatsApp on your computer or maybe on your mobile phone. It's up to you. Click continue to chat and then open the application. So I'm going to open this and this is a picture that I just created using perplexity in WhatsApp. Now there is something here that I think worth, men worth mentioning. It is not always using GPT-40 because in some cases, maybe because there are so many people using it, it's going to be using a different model that is not as good as GPT image one. So maybe it's not always accurate, not, not always high quality, but if you're lucky, you can use GPT image one on perplexity AI on WhatsApp. So that's the second tool. And the final tool is, I would say, the best of all. 
So the final tool is Microsoft Copilot. You can navigate to copilot.microsoft.com. This is the URL. And then you can log in with your Microsoft account or maybe you can create a new account. And I would say this is the closest thing to chat GPT image generation because again, using the same model and it is in the chat window, you can uh, modify the picture the same way you are modifying the picture on chat GPT. Just tell AI about what are the things that you want to change and it will do it for you. So I would say it is much better than chat GPT because the UI is simple and the, the limit is also a lot higher than in chat GPT. So, these are the tools that you can use to create more images even if you don't have any credits left on your ChatGPT account. Just to recap, the number one tool is Recraft, number two is Perplexity via WhatsApp, and then lastly is Microsoft Copilot. And again, all these tools are available in the video description. You can click on them, you can access this tool for free. So if you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.